Hello, McFarland Lutheran Church. Welcome to Facebook Live. Today is Thursday, the 30th of July. I hope you're enjoying some of the beautiful weather we've had the last couple of days. The breezes have been beautiful, cool, um, and hope you're able to enjoy some time outside with your family. This is a special time with children from our congregation, so um, wish you God's blessing of new life for today. My show and tell item is this packet, Active Dry Yeast. I don't know if you have done any baking at all with yeast. Uh, my daughter has been interested in baking the last uh, couple of weeks. Last week she made a bread with cranberries and walnuts and cinnamon and it was delicious but it involved using this packet of yeast. Yeast is fun because it um, dissolves, um, it bubbles and foams when you mix it with um, liquid ingredients and then it disappears so you actually ever never really see um, it in the finished bread although it's very important because it makes the bread rise so it makes it grow nice and puffy and also it just makes it smell really mm, delicious nothing like freshly baked bread coming out of an oven Jesus talked about yeast and he actually told us a story a parable about a woman who mixed in yeast with three batches of flour to make bread. And um, the yeast disappears, but it makes the bread rise and grow and um, makes delicious meals for so many people. So Jesus talked about yeast as something that's very important, even though it's small, even though you can't see it. It makes a huge difference. And um, that's a great message for us today. When we think about um, what we can do, and it may not seem like much, Jesus says it doesn't matter because even something the size of yeast can make, make a huge effect. And I'm thinking about how um, one card that we make and send to someone can make such an impact on their, on their lives. This week I sent an email to someone and he received it and he said it was it was a short email but he said it, it lifted my spirits. Um, we can send a card to someone who's not feeling well and that just expands God's love for that person. Or um, something like a food pantry. McFarland has a food pantry and people in our congregation are growing vegetables in our garden plots and they take over produce to help feed people or um, non-perishable items, a loaf of bread or a um, canned good um, or a box of pasta and we take and we give that to a food pantry and food pantry can spread that out to people who are hungry. Um, very, very important lesson for us that God takes what little we have and makes it into something nourishing and life-giving for other people. So that's what the yeast reminds me of. That's what the yeast signifies for us. Mix it in and God makes it um, something life-giving and nourishing and um, loving for others. So I encourage you to think about yeast, think about the little ways that we can plant seeds the little ways that we can show our love for others and how God will take that and use that and blesses it and gives life to other people. That's the kingdom of God. So thanks for joining me today for this Facebook Live devotion and I'll close us with a prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for this new day that you have given us today. We thank you for the sun shining, we thank you for the breezes that provide cool air. We thank you for our families, our homes, and all of the signs of life around us. We ask that you um, bless us and our gifts that we offer to you, whether that's in the form of yeast or 
small gestures of love or canned goods and food that we give away to others. We ask that you bless these and make them grow for your kingdom's sake so that hungry people are fed and people who are lonely are surrounded by your love, people who are sick are surrounded by your healing. Thank you for the ways you, you thank you for the way, ways that you use us for the sake of the expansive kingdom of God. All these things we pray in Jesus name. Amen. The sun is out, so enjoy it, and God bless you. Bye-bye.